Hi. Hello, everyone. I'm Redbeard. This is my uh, the Redbeard Grind channel. I review eBay sales from the day before. This is going to be my five and five video. So I'm just going to do the top five sales from yesterday. Um, and we, I sort them by value. So yesterday we did $450 in sales and I, I had 17 items sold. And today's looking to be an okay day. I've got 12 sold. And my sales always pick up at like 8 p.m. 8 p.m. to 12 p.m. I pick back up whenever. I don't know what eBay does, but or maybe it's just people getting off work. All right. So we got some good ones. One, that's a good one. This is a good one. Good one. Okay. And okay. So the, the first three are good. Oh, yeah, they're all good, right? Money's good. Profit's good. All right, Naked and Famous. Let me show you the brand. It's Naked and Famous. I've been passing this brand up for years. I've never bought it. I don't know why. And I heard someone in one of my, I think it was in, I don't know where I was, Tech and Sports Group or something, mentioned this brand. So I caught it the next time I saw it. I'm like, damn, this, this sells for good money and it sells fast. So I sold it for full asking. 4687. They're listed January 31st. It's out of here. And I'm not going to pass that brand up anymore. I don't see it that often, but I'm not going to pass that up. I, I have passed up literally. I don't know how many of those over the years. Too many. Um, G Star Raw. This is a brand that I am more familiar with their jeans. I've sold some buddies from them that actually went for good money too. So most of this stuff goes for good money, but I always comp it because I don't know the brand well enough to just buy it. Um, these are some camo shorts. Camo shorts tend to do good, especially camo cargo shorts. They they tend to do good on eBay. And then you mix it with a good brand like G Star Raw. I guess they're a good brand. I don't know them that well. But um, they move pretty fast. They listed these January 14th. They went for full asking, 39.87. People are starting to buy uh, for springtime and summertime now. So yeah, this is a good one. All right, Tentoria, what is this? Tentoria Mati. I don't, I'm not familiar with this brand at all. I just saw this pattern and then looked at the brand and comped it. And it didn't have a great sell through rate, but it was for what, what did sell was selling for a decent amount of money. Plus the limited edition stuff seemed to be going for a decent amount of money. So I listed for $29.87 and sold it. Um, I'm not familiar enough with this brand to say pick it up or not pick it up. I would just comp it. I'd say comp everything. Don't listen to anybody. Just comp it and know that you're going to make money. Um, but it was just the all over floral print that attracted me to it. It didn't feel particularly high quality or anything. Plus, it was made in Italy, which is can be cool. It doesn't mean it's super valuable. Um, there's plenty of junk that, that says made in Italy. There's plenty of junk that says made in USA. And there's plenty of good stuff that comes from China. So it just depends on what it is. Um, all right, Realtree. This is a brand that I buy occasionally. I like buying hunting hunting gear because it, it does pretty well. Hunters like their gear. This is I would consider Realtree like not it's not the higher end of, of hunting gear, just like middle ground. Um, maybe even on the lower side of middle, <clears throat> but it moves okay. I've sold plenty of it. I listed this December 26th, sold it for 2688. Um and just just be careful with this one. Just comp it. Oh, it had a hole in it too. I wonder, <clears throat> maybe I would have got more money if it didn't have a hole in it. And then the territory ahead. This brand I've done really good with on some items and I've done really poor on other items. There's your, your logo, the territory ahead. Um, I picked this one up just recently just because of the cool um, pattern on it, man, the colors. I just thought it was, it was awesome. It jumped out at me um, from down down the aisle. I just went and picked it up. And when I saw his territory head, I was like, I'm just going to get it. And then I know this brand doesn't sell like crazy, but some of it does. I listed it February 13th. So it went fast and I took an offer. I think I took an offer of like $20 and sold it. I bought it for probably $4.99, maybe $5.99. And it's out of here. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's all five. All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you want to watch all this stuff, go to the What Sold on eBay video for February 19th, and you can watch everything and look at this stuff down here that probably was a bad buy and I shouldn't have bought. But um, lots of good information. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.